would direct you started at a very early age. That I remember. I came across a story before. If I'm not mistaken, from high school, you went straight to filmmaking or you were already in college when you started filmmaking? I, I was already making mga short parang video, ibang YouTube short films. Pero siguro the first, like, if you consider like the first film festival Siguro I was 16, 15, yung Threshold and Camera. Wow. I think yung short film na yun, si Love Diaz pa yung actor, kasi direct Love Diaz. Oh, uh, grabe naman yung actor yeah. mo. <laughs> <laughs> so very supportive si Love no, sa filmmakers. And yun, parang he acted in my short film, sa Gawad CCP. It's like one of mm-hmm. the oldest film fest, short film festivals in Asia. And then eventually, I went to Cinemalaya short films noong mga mm-hmm. 2008 and nine. Actually, yung mga kabatch ko dun are also in the industry na. No? Ang dami kong mm. kabatch who... It's like sina direct Gerald Tarog was also in the short film category. Ah, okay. And then, no, nag-full length ako, sina direct Jason Paul Laksamana, kasabayan ko nung recorder. Yeah, parang a lot of filmmakers start in Cinemalaya. So, I was very mm-hmm. lucky lang na ano. Uh, I've always wanted to, you know, make films because yung dad ko, ano, filmmaker rin. So, I was exposed really early. He never really forced me into it. Pero, syempre, very natural <laughs> na... Dahil na expose ka sa cinema, you know, na curious ka and then you start Uh-oh. making short films yourself, get very low budget. And then, yun, nakakapasok sa festivals and sometimes with the prize money, you get to fund your next short film as chain reaction mm-hmm. na lang. So, very privileged na we had that opportunity. Pero, Direk, did you finish your course in college na filmmaking or you decided na, hindi, kaya ko na to. Um, I want to go straight to it. Parang, di ba, some athletes, mm. di ba, ganun yun eh. They, they play basketball in college. Just when they realize na parang they get the experience they need, they move on already. Was it the same for you? Siguro yung fundamentals ko came from the Marilu Diaz Abaya Film Institute. So, when I was a teenager, may parang summer workshop sila for short filmmaking. Parang basics siya of filmmaking where at the end of the summer workshop, workshop, gagawa kayo short film. So, puro kami teenagers noon, like I was 14. In fact, yung mga kabatch ko noon, naging director in like sina Gino Santos, who's uh, parang in ABS na, parang making films na rin. Uh, so, doon kami nag-start and then I went to college pero when I was uh, freshman sa Ateneo, I had a short film that was traveling to film festivals. So, I had mm-hmm. to fly out. So, hindi ko masyado natutukan yung communications mm-hmm. course. Ah. I had to drop out kasi I got busy in traveling with the short film and then making another one. Tapos, natuloy-tuloy na until nag-full length. So, actually, yeah, para drop out ako. Pero like, even my dad couldn't stop me no, when I tried to, when he tried to talk me out of it. No? Kasi parang, Siya rin eh. Fine arts dropout sa UP. Kasi maaga rin siya na napunta sa filmmaking na parang, parang siguro we just couldn't help it na we were very passionate and it took Mm-mm. much of our time and it's the sort of industry rin na mas demo real eh kaysa degree. Di ba? Mm. Mas parang proof of concept ang tinitingnan kaysa degree. So parang, I mean it turned out well no? yung gamble na, na I really wanted to pursue filmmaking full time na and I wanted mm-hmm. to make a feature film really early. I think ano no, whatever works for you talaga kasi some people they really want to go straight to the work. I mean if you have the basics, if you mm. have the fundamentals and it works for you, diba go ahead and do it. But others they it takes them longer. Oh. Yeah, and I guess kasi nung time na yun walang dedicated film course. No, it's it's mm-hmm. more general communication. Yeah. So actually nung time na yun, we were still like doing parang math equations and algebra. Ay. <laughs> Dina natin kailangan yun. <laughs> <laughs> kailangan pa rin, pero you know, may, 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 buti may calculators na mga phones. And <laughs> or ano, yung line producer na, bahala. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean like, uh, yun, siguro if there was a more like dedicated film course like say, diba, abroad, ang daming ganun eh, mga very technical na film course. I think CSB, you know, may ganun sila na talagang digital filmmaking, no? yung name of the course. So, siguro pag ganun, maybe mas na, na hook pa ako. Pero yun, it, it just so happened kasi ang dami ko na rin absences when I was traveling Uh-oh. to film festivals. But the decision worked for you and we've seen how well it has worked for you, direct, with with your successes and all your different projects. Pero yun, yeah, ay- ayoko yung encourage nyo. <laughs> Parang, <laughs> eh, parang it's really up to you pero it's super better pa if you have a degree para just in case na may stable income ka ganun pero yeah sometimes it can work for you nga ang daming filmmakers na who just went out and 
created their art na. Yun yung actually direct ang tatanungin ko sana kasi alam namin your dad is Raymond Red who's also, you know, a great director. Sumasama ka ba dati pag siya ay nag-film, nag-shoot? Yun ba yung first exposure mo? Very interesting na ano, no? yung pina-active, well, full-length feature films kasi medyo may certain pace yung dad ko, no? Parang every parang five years lang siya gumagawa ng feature film. Eh. So when he was very active at ano, yung mga bayani, sakay, kamada nung 90s, mga historical epics. I was still a little kid, so wala akong maalala. Like, hindi ako pumunta sa set kasi I don't remember anything. Siguro yung first experience ko lang on set was, ano na eh, mga TV commercials na sinushoot niya. Pero yun, parang we make it a point rin na, siya rin, he insists no, na we don't really parang interfere with each other's parang work and craft. And medyo naging iba na rin direction namin. No? Mas nag TVC siya, advertising, and then every now and then he makes like a passion project na feature film. Ako, parang I really parang fell in love with parang genre filmmaking. Y- yung mm-hmm. fun of that process no, of, of creating movies na may wide appeal, pero it has the capability pa rin na, na may international market na kaya i-export. So, so may ganun na certain certain uh, subject and polish to it na na-enjoy namin gawin ng, ng brother ko and ng uh, co- collaborators ko. Pero wala bang pressure? I mean, when people find out na, oh, daddy mo pala si Raymond Red. I think wala naman kasi parang, yun nga, di- very different. Kasi different. Na, yes, uh-huh. uh, and then okay. parang ibang era na rin eh. Parang streaming, mm-hmm. di ba? Parang... Yung mga Netflix films ko, parang ibang ibang flavor, no? Parang may ganun kaming, parang very wide appreciation of what cinema is and cinema mm-hmm. can be, no? Well, ang, ayaw namin lag, lagyan ng labels or anything, parang mainstream or art house or indie, no? It, it's just more of like, we just enjoy the process of filmmaking. We watch all kinds of films. Like when I'm in a film festival, di ba? We would watch yung mga, yung nasa competition with us na very you know mas uh, european subtitled foreign films no and when we're here I w- i'll watch the mmff entries and then i'll watch hollywood films i'll watch squid game on streaming diba? parang <laughs> we, we just love films in general ayan, as a family so parang ang sarap lang na parang we're surrounded by that and exposed uh, sa cinema and we uh, appreciate namin uh... So, has your dad seen The Liter? Yes, uh, and I invite ko siya dun sa yung one of our early screenings, yung industry okay. screening. So, it's a screening for like mga critics and filmmakers. So, he was there. Tuwa mm-hmm. naman siya. Although, siya kasi, ano, mas, uh, <laughs> di ata siya mailig sa horror. I mean, hindi dahil natatakot siya, pero more on, ano siya, mas crime thrillers. So, na-enjoy ah, niya mga okay. crime thrillers ko. 